Hey guys. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Black History Challenge. Welcome. So glad you guys could be here. Oh my god. Happy Sunday to all of you out there. Oh my god. Sorry, right, you got. But yeah, happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Black History Challenge. Yay! And this is our last episode of the series, you guys. I'm so excited for today's episode. I hope you guys are ready too. I'm going to show you some easy kind of step-by-step portraits and we're going to turn we're going to turn this into a pop art painting as usual we're going along with the same theme that we've been doing throughout the whole series it's going to be so exciting and so popping so i hope you guys are ready let me know if you're painting along with me uh if you are ready and ready to roll <laughs> let me know if you ready to roll hey hey yo everybody Welcome. If you on the live chat, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and if you on the replay, welcome as well. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this out. Sharon is caring, you guys. And let me know. Put down hashtag replay crew if you are on the replay and you are enjoying the video, or if you happen to be flowing through your day, you could always. Play me in the background as you like flip flop around the house and do all the things. But yeah, I'm excited to be here. We're going to jump right on in. And today is a little bit different because I have a 9 by 12 canvas instead of my usual 11 by 14. I was absolutely way too lazy to go look for it. Okay. <laughs> I was way too lazy to go look for it. She was way too lazy, okay? Um, but uh, my usual 9x12, uh, I'm going to be using a 9x12 canvas as well as acrylics. And I've already got my Stay Wet palette right here, ready to go. And we're going to jump into our underpainting. Shwala. Shwala, you guys. Happy Sunday. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood for real. Uh, it is another kind of semi-warm day here in um, beautiful Maryland. <laughs> I remember when I first moved here, I was like, hmm. And yes, I have my, on my kimono, kimono or whatever you want to call it. But... Hey, hey everybody in the chat, what is popping? Jenny Simmons, welcome. Welcome on in. Okay, so I have different colors down, but as you know, if you follow in the series, I start with my green kind of underpainting just on the face. Um. Oh, speaking of that, yeah, I'll do the green underpainting, and then we'll go in with the outline. I'm going to do minimal blow drying. Because I don't want to heat up anything. But you should definitely be drying in between layers. That's my tip of the day. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to get my brush out. And it is my standard flat brush. And I'm going to wipe off the excess. And we're just going to pop in some of this green color. You know what I mean? Get a nice big glob of that. Funny thing is that this... Um, I'm so sorry, you guys. Murphy's Law. The kids are always calling, like, in the middle of a live stream. Huh? Anyway, um, let's go ahead and plop some of this on. Now, the good thing about this particular piece, why I like this sort of green paint, right? Is because... Let me move some of this off. I'm going to flatten this out because we're going to be able to do a nice little background later. And I don't want to disturb that background. So we're going to do, we're going to get that together. Okay. 
So the thing I really like about this particular paint is that it's super transparent. And then that way I can be able to see kind of where I am and what's going on. And of course, I can get some hair in my painting while I'm at it. Because what is a painting without hair, right? <laughs> am I right? What is a painting without hair? I don't think you paint it enough if you don't have a piece of hair stuck in your painting, right? <laughs> oh, man. That is funny. You have not lived until you don't, you have a, a, a piece of hair stuck in your painting. For real. We're going to get a thin coat of this. Of course, it looks super bright on your screen, you guys. And I'm sorry about that, but it looks super bright. But it's fine because it's going to, like, mellow out. And you'll be able to see what's going on. Matter of fact, let me see if I can bring down the brightness a little bit. It was not, like, super in your face. I'm sorry, guys. Super in your face. So we got that green paint, right? And again, a lot of that is just to kill the whiteness of the canvas for real, right? To kill the whiteness of the... And of course, I'm probably going to have hell finding my lines after this. <laughs> I know I'm blind, okay? No, but for real, I am. Yeah, I know I'm blind. So. A lot of the lines are going to be faint. Because this is like water-soluble like pencil that I use underneath. So if you have a water-soluble pencil... It's good to kind of do your outlines beforehand. That way you know where you're going. Especially for a new person, if you really don't understand, like, color theory and stuff like that. Hey, Rita's in the house. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday, my love. What's up? What is popping? Catch me up. What are we cooking today? I know somebody cooking something. I'm still spraying my palette because I don't know about y'all, but it is like abnormally warm here in Maryland. That's how I know like some sort of global warming or something is about to occur, okay? It's like abnormally warm for no apparent reason. <laughs> you know? Abnormally warm. So we're going to chit chat a little bit while this dries. If you happen to be pun to replay, go ahead and dry this. And you can also fast forward a little bit past this drying stage. And when we will continue down the road, okay? And, of course, I will always try my best to put timestamps down below. I know I didn't do it for the last one, but I will definitely try my best to do um, timestamps down below. So that you guys could be able to jump around if you happen to be watching this pun to replay. And you want to just, like, skip all the chatting, skip all the yada, 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 skip me just running my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Then y'all can just, like, pop on in to the good parts. This is where we get to the good part. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm covering up my painting all at the same time. Cooking nothing on the way back from North Carolina. North Carolina! Oh, my God! Hi! How was it? Did you have a good time? Inquiring minds want to know, did you have a good time? I would love to know. What were you doing down in North Carolina? Visiting family, I hope. Having a good laugh. Maybe you had some good food down. I'm like envious of people that's been eating good. Because uh, I need to go, go grocery shopping. I have not done anything good or any sort of cooking or in fun activities. In God knows when. <laughs> and but I don't know 
want to, I mean, what do you guys feel? Like, I'm kind of feeling like a little sad that I missed. Oh, I didn't even watch The Last of Us, you guys. I did not watch The Last of Us this weekend. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I totally forgot. It just slipped my mind. For those of you that love The Last of Us, I've been, I have not been catching up. So no spoilers, you guys, if you happen to catch this. But yeah, went to a birthday celebration at Ron's Barn in Sanford, North Carolina. Ron's Barn. I said born. <laughs> the born. Get out of your born. <laughs> Sometimes my accent is so crazy. Anyway, what the hell? What is the born? What is the Ron's Barn? I want to go to the barn. I want to go to the barn. You know what I'm saying? What's the barn? So we're kind of waiting for this to dry. I don't want to use um my blow dryer. So we're going to sit here and we're going to literally watch the paint dry. Okay? <laughs> Say, Ron's barn. In the meantime and in between time, if you guys have questions, you can always put them down below while we sit here and watch the drying process. Okay, girl? Uh, put your questions down below and let's figure things out. And this is a good time for me to answer questions. I will actually answer questions in between our drying periods. For those of you that are not, let's talk about Grace Jones. This is the today's portrait. I, I don't I feel like I don't talk enough about who the people are that we're actually painting. And I know some of you, especially for those of you that are born, you know, the new generation of people that you, you know, the newbies. <laughs> <laughs> the new the new gals and guys and days and thems. For those of you that are new, uh, like you're in your early 20s, early teens, most of y'all probably don't know who Grace Jones is. She's a phenomenal actress, singer, um, and basically all around entertainer. She was super popular during like the 70s, 80s. In 90s and even up into the 2000s and how I was interested she was actually in her 70s now and she was like androgynous when it was like when it wasn't popular to be androgynous when it wasn't you know popular to go against the grain and to like be who you are and stuff like that when it wasn't popular she was like one of the first to be out there living loud and proud who she was and doing whatever the hell she wanted to do. And she played in a lot of dope movies. I like I said, I was first introduced to her in, like in nine in the nineties. I had to be about fifteen, sixteen when I was introduced to her and her movies and her shows and stuff like that. And I remember her being a really wild freaking character. And she used to do wild shit on stage, come outside with her titties out and stuff like that. Girl, the food was hitting. I, that's what I'm talking about. The food was hitting. Barbecue and chicken buffet. Definitely country. Yes, I could feel it. I could taste it. I'm like there with you. Food was hitting like that, girl. Oh, man. I'm jealous. She's jealous. <laughs> okay, so it seems like we're a little bit dry. So I'm going to go in and we're going to do our outline with our handy dandy Poscas, right? We're going to do our outline. I can't believe it was hitting. Well, you know what? I can't believe it. Like I told y'all. Remember I told y'all about that? Um, that that place in Burgoa, North Carolina, where my family's originally from. And they got like a place called down there called Scats. Scats. Let me tell you. I don't know what the fuck type of name is Scat. But Scat was scatting. <laughs> scat was bringing the scat. You hear me? Let me tell you, sausage, biscuit, McDonald's could never, could never, for real. All right, so I'm checking out my pasta pan, and we're going to get into our outline. You don't have to do this. If you're like an experienced painter, I'm just doing this for the purposes of you guys, and also for me, because y'all know I'm blind. I need to be able to see what's going on. So... I'm doing this for the purposes of me. Um, but yeah, if you're for some people, like if you're an experienced painter, you don't have to do this because, um, you know, you'll know 
exactly where you need to go with your painting, like where you need to take it and stuff like that. So you wouldn't even have to do anything like this. Yeah, but that fool be, I know, I know that fool be hinting down there. One thing they know how to do is cook. They may not be good at nothing else, but they know how to cook something. You hear me? They know how to cook. And of course, my child does not give a damn that I'm live. So, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, I'm live. Hey, I'm live. Yeah. He's outside. Okay, I'm live. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Like, and then she wanted to chat, too. She wanted to have a whole conversation. I didn't want to put y'all on mute. Because I didn't want y'all to be like, oh, okay, what's she doing? She having a whole conversation. Uh, anyway, sorry about that, y'all. That was so rude. Anyway, so she wanted to have a whole conversation on top of it. Like, no, we're not doing that. These kids do not be caring for uh So yeah, anyway, um, what was I talking about? I lost my train of thought because she called. <laughs> uh, hey D, I have to tune in for the replay. Bye. Oh no. Okay, babe. Thank you for coming and popping through. I appreciate it. Yes, indeed. I hope you have a good weekend. Hey. Oh, you at work. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just dropping by to say hi and to remind you that the new episode of the last... I know, right? I was just talking about that. I need to go look at it, too. You have a good day at work, honey. I hope you have a really, really good day. Really, really good day, okay? You can always check us, check us out for the replay, for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got distracted and I put down the wrong lines. I'm actually putting down the wrong lines, girl. So, yeah, um, anyway. Going back to what I was talking about, uh, yeah, Grace Jones, she said she she set the bar high for real. She set the bar really, really high, and she said like these haircuts that was like, you know what I mean, like, cause for most women they was like, oh nah, you need to be having like certain type of hair, da 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 da. And she was just not happening. She was like, I'm going to do what I want, for real. And now my girl is in her 70s. And time flies when you're having fun, right? <laughs> Am I right? Time flies when you're having fun.
I'm just looking at my poor little hairline. Trying to see where my hairline belongs. And of course she had those thin eyebrows that most women had back then, you know. But I'm like swearing it wasn't even that long ago for real that this was a, a thing. Now everybody's pretty much wearing their eyebrows and wearing and wearing their hair like this and they're making this sort of statement. Like have you actually seen this picture like in today's time? This is the actual, like, I don't know, like a fashion photo shoot that was done in the early 80s. Like, just, I mean, good God, like almost 40 years ago. But, I mean, it looks so fresh. And so she was so, like, ahead of her time that it looks so fresh that it, was, it looks like something that could be done right now. It literally, literally looks like something that they're doing now. And she was like pretty much ahead of her time. Now, usually I don't outline, but. We are doing a pop art portrait, right? So make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? And if you're doing a pop art portrait, like what's pop art without the black lines, the outlines, and all the things? You know what I'm saying? What is pop art without all that, you know? All right, so we coming together here. We coming together. We get our lives together. And actually, this reminds me of Rihanna's like song Rue Boy. Because she had like that 80s feel in her in her music video. So it reminds me of that. It really does.
I was watching, um, what were y'all, what you guys been watching today? For those that you, for those of you that have been home. I've been watching Girlfriends a lot. All right, and it looks like your panty looks really good already. <laughs> Thank you, babe. So I'm thinking, again, like it's supposed to be like a pop art type of painting. You can really kind of just leave it. Like if you wanted to just leave something like this. All right, I got to get my water really quick. I really need to get my white. Ow. Ow, ow. Might as well wipe off my hand. Wipe it off. Sorry, I need to wipe the camera really quick. You know, I gotta have my wipes in there somewhere. All right, cool. Now we can get into like the painting process. Now that we did our outlines, we can get into the painting process. Oh yeah, yeah. And there we go. All right. So I'm going to start with, we're going to work our way down. So we're going to start from the hair and then work our way down and kind of chit chat in between. Because you know you got to do all of your drying and stuff like that. I see Nightbot is doing his job today. Before it was not doing his job. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to mix a little bit of uh, like a black because I don't have none on my palette. 
We might as well mix it around, do our thing. Just to pop something in the eyes. Again, this is not going to be realistic, so it doesn't need to be. Now, the brown, if you want to do a different color eyes, you can, right? It doesn't have to be this, for real. And then I'm going to go in. I'm going to move it over. Uh -huh. Julius? I'm just popping in like a quick uh, thing in the eyes. Because why not? You know, just to get it over with. <laughs> just to get it over with. And look at her. Here she is. She comes to life. She comes to life for us, yes? All right, and then I'm going to get my other thing. And we're going to do something with her hair. Mix in more blue. A little bit of this magenta. That's going to give me like a... Almost a purple. But not. Like a blue purple. But it still looks black. You probably can't even tell what it is for real, but... That's what it is. It's like a purpley blue black. Blue and purples and reds are all kind of go together anyway, so it kind of makes sense. And let's just pop something in. I was debating whether I wanted to make her hair yellow for some reason, but I was like, nah, I don't really want to do that. But let's just stick to stick to the program, right? Let's spray our palette. Stick to the program. You could actually put just blue in it if you wanted to. Like, if you wanted to make her whole hair blue, you could. Just to find fun ways to do the thing, you know? Uh... Uh, 
over here too. So in person, it looks really blue and like kind of colorful, but I mean, on camera, it looks like it's black, but you know, you could kind of pick it up though a little bit in the camera. You could kind of sort of pick it up. All right. So now I'm going to drag off all of this and let's get into... Let's get into it. So, I mean, you can see she has, like, a unique face, right? So... I'm going to get my flat brush and we're going to go in and just pop some color on the face. I don't know whether I want to go full, like, I'm definitely not going to go realistic with her skin tone or her. And you don't have to do that, right? You don't have to do it because you're painting, right? And nobody's going to come in and be like, oh, no, nah, that's not that's not her color. Nobody's going to come in and say that, for real. They can try, but they're they not really going to do that, right? And... Some magenta. A little bit of brown. A little bit of white. I don't put a lot of white in there, but I wanted to just make it opaque enough. Make it opaque enough, baby. I can need to pull up my photo. Now that song is like stuck in my head. Pull it up, pull it up. <laughs> oh, man. I'm pulling up my photo to see where it is. What did I do with it? All right, there it is. That's kind of like the photo that I want to be able to use. So there we go. All right. So let's pop that on. We got our brown. And it's just like, you know, regular standard brown for real. But I wanted to make sure I was able to get 
the whole shaboing, you know? Is that raw sienna or burnt sienna? It's a mixture of... Uh, it's a mixture of a lot of different things. It's a mixture of... Uh, whatever the hell that was, it just flew on her face. <laughs> it's a mixture of all the things. So it was a mixture of burnt sienna, yellow ochre, and it's about all, all, all the colors that I kind of have on my palette right now. That's what it is, a mixture of that. A mixture of all the colors and all the rainbow. You got burnt sienna, a little bit of white. Now her face has all got some weird color on it. My palette pretty much stays the same. I don't really do um too much. And then right here, is where the face starts to turn, so that's what I'm going to put right here. If you're going to do a darker skin tone, you definitely want to lean more into, like, the purples. Um, burnt, burnt umbers, stuff like that. I'm definitely going to lean in more to that than anything else.
I'm not really cleaning off my brush too much because I like having the mixture of all of these different colors all in my brush at the same time. So I'm definitely not going to clean that off. However, if you don't like that mix, and it, you know, a good mixture of color makes sense for a skin tone anyway. So yeah. If you don't like that mix, you should definitely, you know, I'm going in between this color to kind of she had very um deep uh, eyebrows i don't I don't know how to even explain that like very deep. Uh, a very deep eye eye shape, like whatever you want to call it, but it's just like deep, deep eye shape somewhere. Very deep eye shape she had. All right, now this side has a little more white in it than anything else. I didn't even realize I had this pick in my hair. Ha! I got the pick in my hair because it's time to comb my hair. Ha! That is funny. I like having this like brush. It's a long brush, so you could like it's really for like oil painting. That's why I have it, but you like extend it out and then you do the little swirls, whatever, whatever, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but that's what you do. Now of course you're gonna have to go back in.
You're definitely going to have to go back in. And uh, she always had, like, those deep shadows. Even when she had a very, like, bright background, she always had those deep shadows on the side of her face. I got a really harsh line right here, so I'm gonna try to smooth that out a little bit because it'll drive me crazy. It will really drive me insane. Like I said, she's a phenomenal woman. And it's good that she's still alive, right? So that we can give her her flowers. She can get her flowers for real. Yeah. All right. A little bit of white, and then we got to spray our palette per usual. Per usual. I'm gonna mess up my thing. It's coming together. Coming together. Anyways, I was watching an episode of um I 
Harlem. That's what it's called, Harlem. And I really, really like that show. At first, I was like, mm, "Is it what? What is it like? Is it another? You know?" I'm like, "Is it another black show where black women are struggling and and going through struggle, love and problems and da 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 and you know having all these issues and." You know what I mean? Like, that's what I thought it was. I thought it was that side of, sort of vibe. Like, it was going to be another struggle love picture about black women suffering and carrying on. Kind of like, you know, another slave movie. Don't get me wrong. I love learning about my culture and stuff. But he's tired. You know what I mean? Like, she's tired. I lived through the, uh, what do you want to call it? The, I, I'm black. I, I lived through the everyday struggles and trauma and drama and, you know, microaggressions and da da da. I don't want to go to the movie and see, and see it. <laughs> Like, does that make sense? I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't make sense. But this particular show, I really, really like it. I was like, okay, cool. I love that. We love that for you. I love that because it's like celebrating black, you know, black women and our accomplishments and like the highs and lows of life. But it's not so much focusing on like every second struggle. You're black. You're this. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Hopefully, you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all know what I'm talking about. I just don't want to, like, you know what I mean? Hopefully, y'all know exactly what I'm saying. Just put a little bit of, like, shadow. There we go. A little bit of shadow on her. Make it make sense, you know? A little bit of shadow. Uh, Put a little bit of light and brightness right about here. You know? A little bit of light and brightness.
We're kind of working on her nose, reconstructing as if she's getting reconstructive surgery for real. That's what that's what it's all about, right? When you're doing portraits, it's all about reconstructing uh reconstructive surgery for real. I wish I would have saved it, but um, I wish I could have showed you guys. Um, I mean, I do have it, but I don't know where it is right now. I wanted to show you guys my uh my very first set of like portraits that I did when I first started kind of learning how to paint, and I haven't showed it in a few years, so I think I want to do it again. This is a reminder, because I know a lot of people always, like, sometimes I get the, you know, the, the, sometimes I get the statement, oh, you know, I wish I could paint like you, da da da, -da. um, you know? And I'm always like, yeah, I wish I could paint like me too when I was <laughs> when I was first starting. You know what I mean? However, everybody, you know what I mean? Like you start somewhere. Everybody starts somewhere. Everybody starts somewhere. Nobody comes out the womb knowing how to paint. I know when I first started learning how to paint, a lot of people would be, it was like so mysterious, right? It was like a mysterious thing for people uh, to like learn what artists were actually doing behind the scenes. It was such a mysterious thing. It really was. Like people really didn't, Pay it, you know what I mean? Like, I, I think because a lot of artists, especially like, I'm gonna, I don't want to say years ago, but like, you know, I think a lot of artists were like really guarded. And it, I mean, it was a thing, like, you had to guard your secrets back then, a few years ago, whatever. So, a lot of artists were like, oh, nah. And you still meet a lot of them that really don't want to share their secrets, they don't want to tell you what's going on. They don't want to tell you what manufacturer they've been through. They don't want to tell you nothing. You like, girl, go away. <laughs> we all gotta eat, and we're gonna eat some way or somehow. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. All right, so here's when the Posca pen is going to fly out. Sometime when I get lazy and I don't feel like... And then if you want to get into, like, smaller spaces or something like that, then you can, like, whip out your Posca pen. Now, this is definitely burnt sienna, so here we go. And same thing here. Burnt sienna.
Burnt Sienna. Now, I don't know if this is burnt sienna or not. Uh, this is just regular brown. Let me block out that face. <laughs> regular old brown. We're getting into all the different colors. I'm ready there and tempted to be a little white right here. I don't know why, but we're gonna do it anyway. Just go with it. <laughs> Just go with it. I'm gonna put a little white right there and we're gonna get our lives together, you know what I'm saying? Oh. 
Ay, ay, ay. I'm just looking at my reference photo if you see me pausing. Just to kind of see what's going on. All right, now that we did a little bit of most of the face, pretty much, we're going to work on the neck. Work on the neck, baby. I'm gonna make that super dark. Again, you can do this portrait any way you see fit, right? This is just the way I'm doing it. It's always one way, it's many ways to skin a cat for real, right? Everybody has their own style also, right? You gotta also kind of keep that in mind. Everybody has their own style. Everybody has their own style. I'm just doing her neck. It's not going to be a lot of, um, because she had on like this, this dress and it was like all the way up to the neck. I probably should have put that reference photo, but yeah. If you're on Patreon, you definitely have that reference photo, but I mean, I just wanted to give you guys a, a hint of what she looked like, but she had this dress that was like all the way up to her to her uh, neck, her chin, pretty much, and it was gorgeous, a gorgeous beady gown, she was also a model, too, so it was like, she was like known for like wearing these like outlandish type of deals, you know what I'm saying? She was quite known for that. Mm, switch over to like the lighter brown. You can really use like three different browns, and I think you can kind of get this combination of colors, especially if you're using like a 
um, what do we call it? A craft paint, so to speak. My stuff is getting dirty. All right, now I'm getting into my like brown color, but not a lot. It's because I want to be able to blend. Mm. Just to take away that harsh kind of whatever that is. I'm kind of like. Swirling and blending. We want to be able to swirl and blend. Swirl and blend, y'all. I know I'm going fast and things are looking swirly. That's the point, right? <laughs> That's the point. Because I need to blend out that harsh line because that was going to drive me crazy. That was gonna drive me insane. But I didn't blend that out. All right, so we blended that out. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Not fully blended out though. If I'm like honest about it, it's not. Really not. We want to get it as close as possible. Sorry, y'all. I forgot that camera is going to pick up all the swirling. And it's going to be like, what is happening? So, so sorry. All the swirly swirls. Pour it up, pour it up. Watch it all swirl out. Mm. Mm. Oh. Um, uh, that was way too dark. It was way too dark, y'all. Way too dark. Yay. Way too dark. All right, cool, 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 cool. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. 
Now, naturally, if you are painting this on your own at home, right? And we got to straighten out her hairline. But if you're actually painting this at home, you should be thinking about drying it at this point. Make sure you're drying in between layers. Drying, drying, drying. Or you're walking away from the painting and kind of coming back and doing something else. And as you can see, I mean, she had a very... Um, androgynous type of face. Very androgynous. Ooh. Very androgynous, my gals. Girls and boys. Just filling in that one side. Sorry if you can't see it. The bad case of the fat hand is in the way. And don't forget to share today's stream, you guys. Share it. Love it. Like it. Sharing is caring. And put some nice comments down if you happen to be, especially from the replay. Reinforcing that, uh, what's the name that was in her arm? She wore very wild type of makeup, too. Like, it was very wild and very, you know... And the funny thing about her is that even at 70, whatever, 70, whatever she is at this point, she's still as much of a hoot as she was when she was younger, you know? She's still a hoot and a howl. You hear me? Feel me? Like I said, I remember when she was in that movie Boomerang. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a romantic movie. It's kind of like a, a romance movie, like an office romance movie showing about this like shallow guy starring. And the whole movie was done by Eddie Murphy. I love Eddie Murphy. So, yeah. I watched 
I wa I had to watch it because it, it had all the stars in it. I mean, it had Holly Berry in it. It had. It had so many stars in there. Holly Berry. Who else was it? Um, I forget who else was in there, but I know Holly Berry was in there. Oh, that girl, that lady that was married to um Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's wife was in there. Robin, I think her name is Robin something. He was in there. But the funny part to me is what stood out to me was her. She was like a pivotal, like a really pivotal part of uh this um of that movie. She was uh, like a superstar for real. I mean, she came in there like she was playing and it was she played a small part in the movie. She probably had a few scenes. But, I mean, her personality was so dynamic that you just felt it through the screen, for real. I'm just reinforcing that outline that I put in there. Reinforce it, baby. I need to wipe my... We're going to spray our palette, too, right? Let's spray it. Get it together. Get it together. Very nice. Thank you, Rita. I appreciate you. But yeah, just in case you guys missed it, today is our last episode of the Black History Challenge. I don't know what's coming up next for us. Um, I haven't even like planned it out. I did the whole planning stage. Like the whole, sometimes ideas come to me so quickly, so fluently, and like I really don't have any issues with finding, um. I don't know how to explain it, but like finding ideas and coming up with ideas and just thinking about all these different things. Like the Black History Challenge kind of just came out of nowhere. Like I was like, okay, I'm coming back to YouTube. So I want to be able to do something like, you know what I mean? That's like cool. It represents yada, yada, yada. The whole shaboing, right? So it just popped up in. And then like, hello, hello. It's Black History Month, so of course, I got to come through with the Black History content. However, for the, I, I don't know what we're going to be doing. So if you want to be a part of the process, the selection process, and helping me plan out our next activities and fun activities and series, I want this year to be fun, filled with a lot of like different stuff that you can do and kind of get involved with. Good Lord. Sorry, you guys. So, yeah, I want this this uh to be packed with kind of fun and different things that you guys can be able to really get involved with and do this year. Uh, I'm going to get my gray while I talk. I thought I had gray. No, I have purple. But where's my gray? I don't know. Okay, so I can't find my gray. So I see we're gonna be doing it old school, baby. Hmm. So yeah, I um, if you want to be a part of the process, you can head over to my Patreon because it's it's gonna have all the traceables and all the coloring pages for our Black History Challenge, including like a plethora of other activities 
available on Patreon um, for many, many months to come. It probably you probably never even be able to get through through it all for real. But yeah, if you want to be able to participate or go back and like repaint this and get involved, the traceables and stuff like that is available on the Patreon. Yes, it is. And I actually like her with the neon green lipstick. <laughs> like, could you imagine if you had some neat? She, I feel like she would wear something like that for real. I feel like she would definitely wear neon green lipstick. Like, that's her personality. If you know who she is, if you like following her journey, you've ever watched anything she's done, like, you know, right? Very fascinating. So we're going to get into the gray. Because I'm going to go into... I can't find my gray Posca pen. Which would be so lovely right now. But here we are, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, you're going to be doing some work today, baby. Okay? You're going you gonna to get into that work today. Alright? You're going to get your life today. All right, let's go in with that. Ooh, and that's a little too dark, but you know what? It's fine. I'm going to put the darkness up here. And put it here. Definitely in here. Definitely in there. And definitely there. And then we can get more of a uh, lighter gray. It's going with more white. And then that'll go here. Mm. Get into the more white. The more white, like, oh my God. That's what we're doing there. Uh, um, and put the little pink thing in the corner. If you know what I'm talking about. A little pink thing that goes in the corner of your eye. And use a little bit of burnt sienna. I mean, uh... the hell is it called? Magenta. A little magenta. A little bit of hair. I don't really need it, but we'll put it anyway, yeah? Yeah. Little magenta. You know what I'm saying? 
Get your life together. <laughs> That's the theme of today's uh tutorial. Get your life together. Or not even tutorial, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn the brightness up. And I feel like that's too bright. Turn it down just a smidge. All right, so now is when we're going to get into her lips. Same color, magenta. Magenta does a lot of good for you guys, right? I don't use red. I kind of a lot of people use red, but I substitute my red for magenta because I like that color a whole lot better. Of course, because it's pink. All right, don't judge me. Yeah. All right, because it's pink. I'm gonna put that about right here. Right about here. And she has like a bottom lip that's pink. Um, Not in this photo that you see above. This is more like I said, like a fashion sort of. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like a fashion centerfold, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about centerfold, like she in Playboy magazine. I can't. But this is more like a fashion thing. That she was probably doing. You know? So I'm going to do magenta for most of her lips, for real. I'm going to put in, like, different shades. Yeah. Different shades of magenta. Who doesn't want to do that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Different shades of magenta. I'm doing a different shades of magenta. That'll uh, kind of give me what I'm looking for. It will definitely give me what I'm looking for. And then we'll do the top lip. Spray moisturize, moisturize. All right, like Doctor Who. Yeah. Let's get some moisture. And let's talk of uh, the top lip. Like I said, it's supposed to be a little bit darker than the bottom. That's most people, especially black people. It's, it's more pronounced in us than anybody else. So, especially depending on how you take care of yourself. That's going to determine how black and black your lips are. Or whether you smoke or not, you know? If you're a smoker or something like that. That's going to determine some things, baby. 
That's kind of why I'm happy I quit smoking. Because I started seeing my, my lip, the bottom lip is getting dark. I was like, oh, no, nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Once I start seeing my beautiful lips going crisp and crap, I was like, oh, hell no. Uh-uh, we're not doing that. I'm not doing that. We're not doing that. Putting some of this over here. Right here. I'm just reinforcing this, whatever this is right here. All right, so let's put, now that we kind of blocked in most of the phase and we did what we wanted to do, uh, I'm going to pop in this highlight. I don't, don't ask me why I do this ahead of time. I suggest you don't put the highlight in until you're totally finished painting the painting. But for me, I feel like it's a little reward for myself putting in um, the little highlight. Yeah, so I don't know what we want to do. Like, what are you guys, what are you thinking we should do for our next kind of like series? Yes, because I feel like it's just not together until you have a highlight. <laughs> but we cheated. I mean, we don't really need the highlight right now. We shouldn't be doing any highlights. But I needed to put that in. It makes me happy. Yes, it does. You know what I'm saying? It made me happy. It made me very, very happy. And this, uh, I'm only using this black in the, the side of the eye because you know it's going to have some shadow in your eye also. So I'm using that to pop that eye out just a smidge. That's what we're doing, baby. Pop that out just a smidge. I would love to know what you guys want to be able to do. What y'all would like to do. It's coming together, y'all. It's coming in. Coming together. All right, let's get back into this brown, dark color because I want to, like... Do something with the hair really quick. Let's see.
And then in the front, and then we can put our like, a like pink color in there. Put that pink in there. Mm. And you can see it's really streaky, so you definitely want to put at least two to three coats. Two to three coats should do the job to make it not as streaky. All right, let's go and... Let's get into this color. I'm getting my bigger brush because I'm going to cover more ground. And even though this is supposed to be her dress, but you can see some of her skin in it, right? So, because you can see some of her skin in it, I'm going to try to put some of that there. Because I can still see some of her skin in this dress. So that's what we're doing with that. Again, the fun thing about, you know, painting and stuff like that is especially when you're dealing with acrylic acrylics is that you can do these like fun, you know, what? And now get into this, get into it. All I need is signs. All I need is dollar sign. Now, you know what? That song is stuck in my head. You hear me? I had to brighten it up for y'all a little bit. There was too much going on. Now is when we're going to put a, like, now I'm not going to do the, 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 um, total reproduction of her dress, but I do want to at least imitate it, like, a little bit, right? It was a very weird dress, but there's so much that we're going to try to. And imitate that thing the best we can. We doing the best we can with what we got. 
<laughs> All right, we're going to try to imitate it the best we can. The best we can with what we got. Same thing here. And we just continue in the pattern. Of course, we're going to have to go in and do highlights. I'm going to go in and do the highlights. I'm going to have a nice little weird dress in here, yeah? Nice little weird dress we're going to have in there. I don't have black on hand. I could put the black in there, but we won't. <clears throat> Okay, so I feel like I'm happy with that, maybe, maybe, maybe I am, maybe I'm not, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm happy with it. Probably gonna have to go in and do a light coat of black, but yeah. In the meantime, and in between swine. Okay, baby. Um, I think I am gonna get some black out though. I will get some black. Mm. All right, here's my black. Here's my black. Put a bunch of that out. Here it is, baby. Here it is. And that way I can put like a light, whatever, whatever there. Because I want to have... You can see the difference with the black, right? So the black is just totally different. Totally different.
And we're doing well. We are doing well, you guys. I don't know about you, but I, I'm loving it. We're doing so good. We are doing so good and accomplishing so much. So hopefully, if not for nothing, my videos are motivation for you to keep going. Even if you're in the ugly stage of a painting, for real. Because it makes sense. Keep going, even if you're in the ugly stage of a painting. All right, my water is extremely dirty. It's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. It's all fine. <laughs> All right, now I'm getting into I will say with the smaller paintings, um, you do tend to get through through things a whole lot quicker. That's for sure. You tend to get through things a whole lot quicker. I am filling this in. I'm still alive. The people are getting restless. I see that now. All right, uh, I'm gonna make these totally black. I like the idea of that for some reason. So we're gonna make it totally black. Totally, totally. I'm gonna make it totally black. And usually I don't do that, but we're gonna do it today, yeah? Make it totally black. Other side too, but you can see she was a fashion queen, yeah? She was really doing it up, you know? Really a fashion queen for real. Really doing her thing. 
Who's a fashion queen? Right, and then the last thing we're gonna do is go into like I need to get hmm. Can't use that. Can't use that. No, you can't. I wonder what the emergency is. Everybody has something to do, huh? Alright, so we're gonna start over here. And she had these same, it was like a whole, she had a beaded dress, beaded, uh, you know, beaded dress, beaded, beads in her, um, beaded earrings. And I'm not trying to be precise with this. I'm just not, right? If you guys want to be precise with it, definitely go for it. But <laughs> Danielle's not going to be precise today. I just want to, like, emulate that, like, bead pattern a little bit. And then we'll kind of go in and do like some things. I need to emulate that bead pattern that she had on her thing. I'm gonna have to darken up that that other thing too. So I was kind of torn about what color I wanted the background to be, but I feel like I want it to be, I feel like I want it to be yellow. Because I mean, maybe because Definitely want it to be yellow. What in the hell? It's going on back there. Very pretty, very pretty. We love that. I love that. Very nice, very beautiful. And my wood is super dirty, but I can't change it right now. I don't have time to change it. I'm going to turn up the brightness of my camera, though. You guys can get the full effect of what's giving ones. We're going to leave that. I feel kind of happy with how what that's what that's doing, how that's looking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're gonna leave that alone. We're gonna get our lives together.
And I'm going to put a little bit of like exaggerated eyelash action. Again, this would be a good time to dry your painting. Right? Don't be like me. And I'm going to put... A little bit of eyelash. Little bit of eyelash in there. A little bit of eyelash. And I'm getting my hand all in the paint. That makes so much sense. We love that. Ooh, we love that. Love getting my hand in the paint. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Let me turn it. Work smarter, not harder, right? Um, no, then I'll, oh, okay, here we go. You won't be able to see it too much on this eye, but you know it's there. You know it's there. All right, I had to turn it over a little bit. Here's when you put in like the little, little details. Little bit of details of it all. And hey, <laughs> Tati, what are you doing? Hi, hi, Bob. What's up? You could be moderating. You could make yourself useful for real. Why? <laughs> How you in the chat? You ain't even doing nothing. <laughs> you you gotta you like I'm determined to harass her now. I'm gonna go find her in the chat. I'm gonna go find her. Oh my god, I can't. What do you want, girl?
You could be doing some moderating and make yourself useful. How about that? <laughs> uh, that's funny. <gasps> yeah. Do some work, girl. My daughter is in the chat, y'all. She has stalked me over to the live stream. That should really be against the law. <laughs> Whatever. You got Nightbot to moderate. Whatever. Nightbot. Nightbot. I didn't give birth to Nightbot. Okay. <laughs> That's what children are for. Right? After you go through the heartache and pain. You'll see. You'll see when the baby gets older, you're going to be like, um, yeah, I need you to do X, Y, and C. I had to fix her uh, chin really quickly. So I'm just going in looking at things that I feel like needs to be kind of done. Make sure you say hi to people in the chat. Be nice. Oh, you like the painting? Good. I'm glad. I'm surprised. Surprised you like it. What is my babe doing? All right, we've kind of fiddled around with the face. We did a lot of little different things here and there. Hold on, let me get in here. Da -da 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 -da. A foxy brown too. You should have did Pam Greer or Fox or Foxy Brown. Yeah, I didn't even think about Pam Greer, but I, I I don't think I've ever seen any of her movies. The only thing I know about her is from the L Word. You remember that show? And she was on that um the L Word. That's the only thing I really know about her. I mean, I know she was a legend or whatever, but the only thing I know about her is she had a big butt. In a small ways when she was young, and then that was the extent of it. That was it. She's a big part of Black history. Is she, though? Is she? Hmm. Where was these ideas, like, several days ago? Hmm. We got the idea factory going now. 
<laughs> Welcome to my my uh, family. They got all the ideas. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's do the background. I'm gonna do the yellow, whatever, whatever. We're gonna go with the yellow, but I'm gonna do a mixture of yellow. And we're going to wrap it up because I got all the kids jumping out of the woodworks. My son was just up here harassing. I don't know what he want. And we're spraying, spraying, spraying. I got it. This time I came prepared a little bit. Got a little cup of water. You didn't know I was going to lie. You say that every single time. Every single time. You be like, oh, I didn't know you was live. Really? You say that every single time. You didn't know I was going live. And I've been having the same schedule, like the 4 p.m. live streams on Sunday for like Lord knows how long. Well, I guess I wasn't doing it for a while, so maybe you didn't remember, but yeah. All right, now I'm going to get into this yellow because I want the yellow to be like a rich yellow. You know what I mean? Like that rich, that rich auntie yellow. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I'm saying. Ooh, but you know what? That, hold on. Let's do it. I feel like that's not the yellow I want. That's not the yellow I see in the picture. So I'm going to get more, more of a yellow. Yeah, I did stop for a while. You probably forgot, but Yep. All right, let's get some yellow in here. I need some more white. It's a lot more yellow than it actually is. I'll tell you that much. A lot more yellow than it actually is. And I'm getting paint all over my microphone. Like, this is fun. Very fun. We loving that right now. Great. It on the start and some bright yellows like a mustard that's cute Mix the left color. <laughs> mm. You being a little too helpful, that's suspicious. What do you want? You must want something.
Like, that's suspicious. <laughs> like, you being a little too helpful, like, what do you want? That's suspicious. Yeah, this is a little more mustardy, mustard color. Oh man, I gotta take, I gotta like wash my freaking nightgown and everything because this thing is getting wet. Like, that's suspicious. What do you need? You already know something's happening. Okay, Cardi B. <laughs> I'm trying to get some engagement going. Yay. People like to watch, especially I've been live for like, what? An hour, two hours, something like that. The people, they sticking with it, but they, they watching. They doing their thing. Huh? Um, you can share it with your, your best girlfriends. How about that? All your little friends on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Here with them. Okay, so we got some good coverage on our first try. And I think that's because we actually, you see I have, um, we got some good coverage on our first try as well as um, a bunch of freaking paint all over my arm, my nightgown. This has been really fun. I've been enjoying getting drenched in paint. You got to paint the sides, right? So let's do that. Paint those sides. And I'm going to start selling these, like, tutorials. Or not tutorials, but these, like, little paintings. I'm going to start selling them. Of course, at a discounted rate. But I'm going to start selling them on my Patreon, you guys. Because they just, like, piling up. And I have so many beautiful paintings. And I have nowhere to put them. So if you guys are interested in buying some of these paintings... Any of these paintings from um, Black History Month? Or I think the only ones that I'm not selling is the ones that I did for... Um, ooh, God. I'm going to be a mess after this video is over. Look at this. Disgusting. I don't know why I did that. Why did you do that? We don't know. All right. I won't, I won't paint that area. We're going to leave that alone. Sorry, guys. Camera's not focusing in properly. Was well, doing too too good at focusing, right? And yeah, so if you guys want to buy any of these um paintings, they'll be I'll put them up on a tier on my Patreon, and you guys can like get them and do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? This is fun, and I I definitely got to redeem myself from yesterday <laughs> when that painting was like not cooperating for real. It was just like, oh, okay, we're just gonna do what we want, you know.
The lines are good too. Oh, thanks, bub. The background compliments her face. Yeah, I was thinking about that because, I mean, if you think about it, like, in the reference, well, this reference photo that's up now, um, I was thinking about it because I haven't done any yellow backgrounds yet. So I was like, let me go ahead. And now is when I'm going to go in with this. Just a light coat of this. Basically, it's barely anything on my brush. Just put it that way. Right. Barely anything on my brush. And I'm going in between. And it's going to act like mesh, right? Because it's very thin layer. So it's pretty much going to look like mesh. You see that, you guys? It's going to look like it's a mesh, a see-through. And you can, like, see her skin. Boom. The masterpiece. You feel me? Hmm. That's suspicious, right, y'all? It's a masterpiece. She's a masterpiece. Hmm. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm glad they didn't use a dark blue that would, um, drown her out. I don't think blues are good for making complexions pop. Yeah, I know, um, Beyonce was saying that. I know Beyonce had a whole thing when he, she was, like, telling her, her people, like, don't be putting no damn blue light on me and the blue light don't look good on black people. Even though they did put a little bit of blue light on her. Like, you could tell they did some touching up. But they did it in an artistic way. So it was blue light with, like, pinks and stuff like that in her face. But I think that it was, like, an artistic choice with the way they decided to do it that way. For real. That's what I'm thinking. Artistic choices. Because you know how people, especially back in the 80s, you already know they wasn't knowing how to light black people. They really wasn't. But if you could tell that her team, whoever was behind her, was really like trying to make sure that they hooked her up and they didn't do no craziness to her because... They really made sure she was good. Right, even with professional photos. I mean, that's the main ones that be doing it. Matter of fact, I was watching Girlfriends. Well, I say Girlfriends. What the hell is it called? <laughs> uh, not Girlfriends. Um, Harlem today. And they had a scene in Harlem where um, I don't even know what her name is. Not Quinn, but the dark skinned one with the with like the big bushy hair. They had like a whole scene where basically, um, you seen it? Hopefully you seen it. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be spoilers. If you guys haven't seen that episode, then just like click away, look away. 
anyway, um, it was a whole episode where she was like in this Hallmark movie, which like was her dream. And she went to go to hair and makeup. And the lady, of course, she's she's she was, you know, Caucasian or whatever. And she did not know how to deal with her hair. So she left her there to deal with her own freaking hair on this like professional show. And she spent that whole episode like very sad, just like crying and like whatever, whatever. And it's a reality because like even the lady that was in um Vampire Diaries, and you know how much I love Vampire Diaries. The one black girl that was in Vampire Diaries, they said they was treating her bad. Making her wear all these horrible ass wigs and stuff like that. Cause a lot of um the professional people that they hire don't know how to do hair. Don't know how to do black hair. Let me just say that. They don't know how to do black hair. So yeah. So she was out here. They left my girl out here looking crazy. And she was even like, you know, upset. So I'm guessing that's a big trend, or not trend, but it's like a big thing in Hollywood that they really just do not know how to do out hair or just deal with us, period. So they just pass the buck along and just be having us out here looking crazy with these crazy ass wigs on. And you know, I used to watch the show, and I used to be like, sometimes I would see them wigs, I'd be like, uh-uh, girl. What the hell did they do to you today? <laughs> Why you got that wig on? Why you look like that? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I would say that to myself, like, what the hell is going on? Why you looking like that? She looked cute, even with the big, um, the bad wigs, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we know she's a pretty girl. I mean, she looks, she still looks good, and she's like almost 50. I mean, come on now, right? She still looks so good, but um, I was just saying, like, how they were setting her up sometime, and I'm like, what the hell? No, nah, you ain't, well, first of all, you ain't a, uh, a Vampire Diaries, like, buff like me anyway. You don't like that sort of stuff like that then you would have seen the atrocities that was unfolding on some of them episodes when they had her looking like Winnie the Pooh. Like, not you out here looking like Winnie the Pooh. Like, whoo, not you setting my girl up looking like Winnie the Pooh. What the hell is this wig? I like Vampire Diaries and Supernatural. Supernatural? Since when you was watching Supernatural? When you watch that? I never see you watch shows like that. If it ain't anime, you ain't with it. I could have swore it was like Naruto or whatever you hell you call it. <laughs> if it ain't anime, you are not with it. I don't think I've ever seen you watch um that show. I'm just reinforcing my little black dots, whatever the hell you call them. Whatever you call them. You trying to be funny. <laughs> no, but be like it Naruto whatever you know I don't know the names of other ones 
It's a lot of people I know. That's a lot of people in my audience that like anime too. You're not alone. <laughs> yeah, but I never seen you watch that before. I didn't think you would like it. So I put a little outline. You be having yourself weak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. So I put a little outline on the side or whatever. And I love it. I love it with the like whatever it is. Um, it needs to actually dry. So we're gonna chat while this dries. And I wanna put some more stuff at the back. Uh put a little whatever, you know, you know, we gotta put our little quintessential uh coloring around the portrait to make it radiate all the different colors in yada yada yada, right? Oh, and there's the materials list, you guys. For those of you that are curious what we're using, what we're doing. Oh, but that's gouache. But you can still get those same materials. Those are some links if you guys want to click on it. And, yeah. Yeah, but I want to know, like, what do you think we should um do for our next series, Tati? What do you think we should do? My hand is going to be so... All right, so I put some highlight, not highlight, whatever you call it. I outlined to um make sure we get her eyes the way we want them, and I'm gonna put something the bottom here. Uh, I'll put that around right here. Just putting some little shadow underneath. That's all I'm doing right now. Like shadow underneath her nose with a little bit of magenta.
All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of white. Like root off the red nose reindeer. Same thing here. All right, so we're drying up, which is good. I wanted to dry up and try to get his life together. And A little bit of like a highlight right there. Just reinforcing that little whatever it is. I probably should have added a little bit of magenta in there to soften that up. I never like that stuff to be directly whatever. Ay, ay, ay. Add a little bit of that in there. I gotta fix gotta fix that. Right, I don't want to fiddle around in it too much because then I'll just like overwork it and then it'll be like a thing. And right, that's way too light. I think I have a lot of light colors on my palette right now. Let's do this one thing. Yeah. I don't know where it could be. I have some burnt sienna. Here we go. Burnt sienna. Um, now I get some burnt sienna out. Mix it into this dark color right here, which is like a blue, black, whatever, whatever. And then I'll kind of go in and reinforce this shadow right here. All 
Okay. Reinforce that whole shadow. <clears throat> uh oh. It's too dark. I still kind of want it to be brown, but not, you know? I still kind of want it to be dark, but not totally dark. <clears throat> you see she has those, uh, you know, that cheek. That whole cheek area. And... Now is when I'm going to go in with a little bit of a lighter color. And I need to be able to blend this dark color. So I'm going to hope and pray. I think it's a little too wet. But I still want to be able to We still get a little bit of a blend in there, right? A little bit of a blend in. Same thing here. A little bit of water does the body good. And getting into the thing, getting into the thick of it here. Sorry, you guys. Camera went out of focus for a hot second. Let me refocus it. There we go. Hey, not you going out of focus. Yeah, you did. And I put a little bit of just a little bit of a shadow right there. I kind of feel like it needs it. It definitely needs it. Move it out. Same thing here. Going in. I'm just reinforcing a lot of things that we've already put in here. That's the name of the game when it comes to... um.
It's doing this thing where it's not focusing again. So stupid. There we go. Any sort of movement, it's like, hello? <laughs> like, calm down. Like, can you please focus and stop the, the crap? Something is irritating me about that. I need to kill that highlight right there. If not, it's going to drive me crazy. All right, there we go. Same thing here. If you guys have any questions, this would be a great time to pop them in. I feel like I could have made everything a lot browner, but hmm, I'm not going to fuss about it. I'm really not because I would like to just, I would really like to just fuss about the whole thing. I really would. But then I'm going to mess it up and then it's going to be like a little thing. Yay. I don't want to do that. So, I won't do that. Hmm. If you happen to be pun the replay, or even if you're live with me, I would love to know what do you guys be doing while I'm painting? Are you painting along with me? Are you doing other things? I would love to know. What are you guys doing? I'm always curious what people are doing when, when I'm actually painting. Always curious to know that. Eating cookies and playing Toontown. <laughs> oh, my God. How did I know that? I know what you're doing. I'm talking about everybody else. <laughs> Eating cookies and playing Toontown. Good lord. I can't even believe you're still playing that game. I can still hear the meow, meow, meow right now in my head. Many, many years of torture when you was little. Many, many years.
I'm gonna put a little, a little more gray. Noon town. Huh. A little more gray back here. Maureen, hi, love. Hey, love. Can't wait to watch this and follow along. Yay, very exciting. Yes, I can't wait for you to rewatch it and follow along as well. Gonna be, it's, it's a good one. It's a really, really good one. And I think it's a good one for us to end the series on, for real, right? Some some paintings just turn out good, right? Some paintings you're like, ooh, I love that. I just love it, love it, love it so much. But yeah, I think you're going to love it. And how have you been? Happy New Year. I just realized who he was. I haven't seen you in so long. How's the baby? How's everybody um, doing? What's going on? Catch me up in your life. What have you been doing? I just realized who he was. I was like, who the hell? I was like, oh, okay. Now I know who you are. Yeah, but there, it, there she is in all her glory. Uh, anybody remember the, the movie Boomerang? Come on now. Like, I love Boomerang. It's such a good movie. It's so freaking funny. I loved every aspect of Boomerang. It was so, so good. And of course, her part in Boomerang was so great. So that's how I was like first introduced to her. He's such an icon, for real. Everybody is good. I will certainly call you tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely touch base with me again. Touch base with me on um on Instagram so we can check in and see what's going on because I haven't spoken to you in so long since last year, like early last year. But yeah, I was telling everybody, like, this painting will be available if you guys want to buy it. It'll be available on Patreon. So if you're a patron, you can definitely be getting first dibs. And you can get the traceable on Patreon as well for this painting. Traceable slash coloring page will be available. Okay. I need to put some highlights on this one. Let's see. And... We in a rare treat today. My daughter is hanging out in the chat. Usually she be out of there. Like I'm not, I'm not sitting around for your chat. So you better, y'all better enjoy it because we in a rare treat for real. I'm just putting little like dabs of highlight for real. Like you getting a rare treat, girl. Same thing on her dress. I mean, you don't really have to do that because you can kind of see the thing, right? And this is just a little bit of gray. Because she would have highlights in... Uh, so when you look at it, it looks like sparkles, da 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 I'm still on Patreon, so I'll go grab that. You're doing something for Women History Month. Uh, that might be something fun. I don't know. Um, Definitely shoot me some ideas in Instagram or whatever. 
And shout out to the patrons. Thank you so much for supporting. It means so much to me. I know, especially nowadays, we're in a bad economy. And, you know, people are out here counting coins, honey. So, I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, So, if y'all want to support, you know, your girl is poor. <laughs> I would love to support, for real. And now I'm just highlighting, highlighting bullshit and politicking. Look, Nightbot, see? Nightbot know what's up. It came through right on time. Mm, I'm just doing some highlighting here. I don't know if it is going to be in this yellow color. All right, because I don't know. Because that's what the brush decided to pick up for some reason. So I guess it's going to be in yellow today. Oh, you see Andrew cry? <laughs> you mean that fake crying he was doing? Woo! That fake crying Andrew was doing? Oh my god. And he wasn't he wasn't even crying. He was using um freaking uh whatever you call it. Um eye drops. Damn clown. <laughs> Absolute clown for real. Clown dot com. Using some damn he was using eye drops, pretending he crying over the girl. Like, he's so sad. With his tight-ass pants on, looking crazy. Like, shut up. He was an absolute freaking mess doing that. That that crap. Absolute freaking mess, for real. I couldn't even believe he was doing that. <clears throat> All right. Neo. Ooh, I think it looks... Ooh, child. I think it looks pretty. Very pretty. A lot more prettier than I seen it in my head. I was thinking it's going to be something else in my head, but it looked a lot better than I thought it was going to be for real. Okay? For real. <clears throat> Andrew out there crying. I can't even believe it. If y'all don't know what we talking about, we talking about Love is Blind, that show, that crazy show on Netflix. Crazy, crazy show on Netflix. That's what we talking about. Look at my gal. Look at her. Look at her, man.
can't come to play no games with y'all for real. No games whatsoever. <laughs> no games whatsoever. Okay. I may have to reinforce it. Sometimes you got to go back in because acrylics dot dry a lot darker than they look, right? So you may think in your head, that's a that's a nice color, da da da. Blase blase, and then boom. Family dinner until tomorrow, love. Okay. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate you, Maureen. Thank you so much for being a part of the Creative Girl crew. I hope you have a good evening, as always. Um, all right, now, right, let's pop in. Um... I'm going to use this. Ooh, look how the dress turned out, y'all. So pretty. And you can really get in and, like, do different things. Again, make sure you're drying in between layers and definitely dry, dry, dry. Uh, and this is, like, you know what I mean? This is a pop art, so it's not going to be super realistic. It's supposed to be kind of, like, pop, poppy, right? You need it to pop. Pop, pop, pop. All right. I want to see how this looks. I don't know if I'm going to like it. So we're going to outline. Hold on. Make sure. Got enough. No, my hand is not. I have stuff on it. Gotta have my little outline for some reason. I don't know why, but it needs to be there. I need for it to be there. And that's still wet. Okay. Love that. And here we go with this one. You gotta have your little outline. I'm gonna do it all the way around. All the way around. Okay, I love that. She's popping. And then I'm gonna get my red one. I thought I had a bigger. Uh, here we go. Here's a bigger one. And Neo, let's one side is going to be blue. And the other side is going to be red. I've seen this online. <laughs> Somebody had did that. Like, they outlined it, like, one side red, one side blue. And I was like, oh, that's cute. That's really cute. We love that. So we're doing that. Aren't we? Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, we are.
Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Oh my god. I feel like I'm never disappointed with that. For real. I'm just like, I feel like I'm never disappointed with that. It looks so good. What do you guys think? It looks so good. I love that. And it feels so 80s, right up my alley. You know what I mean? I love that. We love that. It feels so 80s. It's so crazy. When you're like going through an era, when you're like going through a certain decade, you don't even realize how iconic it is until a decade is over. And you see how things are comparably, like, with other, you know what I mean? Like, with other decades. And you're like, damn. Damn. You know? Ooh. Ew. We love that. Do we love that? I think we do love that. Now I just want to outline everything. Oh, I love her clothes. The white was a nice touch. Oh, thanks, bub. Yeah, I had to highlight it because if you look at the original picture, I'll, sh I'll send you that when the live is over. But if you look at the original picture, she has a beaded gown on. So it has to have to represent that uh, bead some way, somehow, right? I had to represent it some way, somehow, baby. Yes, we love that. We love that. You go ahead, boo. We love that for you. She's in her element. She's very happy. We're all very happy, okay? We are very, very happy people, for real. Very, very happy. So, yeah, that's it for today's tutorial slash paint with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Woo! And we made it to the end of our Black History series. Of course, it's the shortest month of the freaking year, right? Uh, So... I will be back again on Wednesday. We're still going to be here three days a week. Same time, same place. Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. I will put out the schedule. And I will, of course, keep posting what we're going to be doing and, and all of that stuff. And I'm going to actually put... Um, I'm going to take high-resolution photos of this during the daytime. You know... Do my whole spiel, set it up, da 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 da. Take photos and I'm post it over here in the community tab. Or hopefully you're following me on Twitter. If you're not following me on social media, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? Okay, ask yourself what are you doing. Dot com. So yeah, follow me on social media so you know exactly what I have going on. I will post high resolution photos tomorrow. And also put out the schedule later on this week. Patrons, you'll be able to see a lot more stuff that I have going on. You'll be able to actually help me plan out what we're going to be doing for the next series. So make sure you guys look out for that poll. Thank you to everybody that tuned in. Thank you to the patrons. And yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.